Hi, my name is Moshe Jamini. Uh, I'm an international business and business finance double major here at Westminster so College. And uh, I'm from Swaziland, it's in Southern Africa, and I play men's soccer here. Uh, I went to Waterford Kamshaba United World College in, uh, in Swaziland. And after what would be considered your senior year, here in America, I, uh, I did a two-year course of the International Baccalaureate, and because I, I completed it and graduated it at the school I did, uh, I had the opportunity for scholarship to go to 90 uh, schools and colleges here in the U.S., and Westminster was one of them. So, uh, Coming here, I, I didn't get to tour the school, so, you know, I take, I take the word of a uh, the international recruiter here and uh, it was one of my choices. I had kids from my high school already here so I asked them some questions and I think that coming here is a, is a lot different question than what, what keeps you here and I think the, the wide variety of student involvement that it allows you to have when you're here that, that keeps you grounded and that allows you to focus on those things and less on, on what you don't have being here, you know, coming to Westminster, I'm now, you know, vice president of my fraternity. I'm the president of the Student Athlete Advisory Committee. I, I play, I, I play college sports here. I'm still in class, and I and I also have a, a work study job. So it's, it's a lot of things to balance, a lot of things to keep you involved, outside of, you just being a, you know, a twenty-something year old in the world. I'm the fourth out of five children, my, my dad's children, and three siblings before me all went to college and university in, in Swaziland and South Africa, and that was a path they chose. I think very early on into my, my teenage years, I, I told my father, I was like, I, I, want, I want to go to the U.S. To, you know, to do university and college, and from there, a certain path had to be taken. I had to go to that school. I had to you know, do well in school and I had to be able to get this opportunity that that I'm now living and you it's 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 one thing to be to be here and and have to go back home whereas being home and trying to come back here is, is going to be a lot harder. So for me, even though I, I only get to see my family once, you know, once a year, like every summer, I I want to move back having knowing that I, I did everything I could while I was here. So I want to get my MBA. Um, I want to work towards that and then study my MBA. I want, I want a company to look at me and say, we could use this guy's, you know, social or cultural intellect uh, as an asset to us and, and move him around and have him see different places on our behalf. And, and that's what I want to do with, with my career. So it's, it, it's, it's a lot about what you want to do while you have the time and the opportunity because when that vanishes, it's going to be a lot different trying trying to start again without that educational boost to bring you over here. I think the greatest moment for me outside of scoring my first career goal as a sophomore was uh, was a being being moved back from where I played. I played forward my whole life, and I came here. And for the style of soccer that is played here, I was better suited somewhere. Which, which, I, which I would have never thought for myself before. But with that, to still be looked on as a leader in the way that I play and the way that I handle the position that I've been given, I think that's, that's one of the most fulfilling things that's, that's happened to me is, is have a coach walk into a locker room or walk into a team meeting or a huddle or walk away from a huddle and expect you to take control of that or be in a game and watch on the sidelines and expect me to be doing things that he doesn't expect, you know, eight, nine, ten other people on the field to do. I think that's one of the greatest things is to walk away from a game and say, we won that game and I, I feel like I played a big role in that, in, in leading, whether it's talking, acting, whatever it is, I think it's, it's very great for somebody to look at you as a leader of a team. I think uh, I... I get the greatest compliment from my teammates and my coaches. Just to hear them say, good game, <laughs> honestly, 
it doesn't happen a lot when you're expected to lead and, and behave a certain way and play a certain way. Uh, my co-captains will tell you now, we, do, we won't get much, you know, word back from the coaches because they expect certain things of us. We get, we, we get assigned tasks and this is, this is what I need you to do in this game for us. This is where I need you to be. I want you to be strong for us here. I want you to be vocal for us there. And when you do have that one game where you're playing, you know, above the level they expect, you're going to get that good game. You know, two words, good game, and that, that's going to that's gonna make your evening. That's, that's going to cement the win and be like, the team won, but I also won. I won as an individual because I did something exceptional, and that's, and that's beyond anything I think I, I've ever been complimented with next to finding my name on a board, you know, it's a 316 tournament. It's the last game we, we got to play in the national tournament. And I'd started maybe three games that season, you know, hurt, trying to recover, and all of that. But for that game, my coach saw me as better suited there to put the team in a chance to win. And even if we didn't, that there's a compliment on its own. So I think my peers, my teammates, and my coaches, they, they'll, those will be the biggest compliments I think I can receive here.